Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on the Oracle Unbreakable Linux Network. This tutorial is the second of a series of three videos. The first video demonstrated how to register a system with ULN, and this second video will demonstrate using the ULN web interface. Now, it's, it's not essential or necessary, really, to access the ULN web interface. This system has already been registered. When you register, it automatically subscribes you to the latest channels based upon the version of the OS and the architecture. So I can just run yum update and update my system without going to the web interface. But I do want to show you the interface, and I do want to point out the things that you can do from the interface. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a browser. So I'll click Applications and Firefox web browser. And once the browser opens, I'm going to maximize the window. And the URL is for ULN is https colon slash slash linux.oracle.com. The ULN Unbreakable Linux Network login window appears. So you see there's a sign on button over here on the left. But there's a lot of information, a lot of links that you you might find helpful. Like getting access, how to register, how to buy Oracle Linux support subscriptions, how to switch from Red Hat's network to ULN, some information, white papers, FAQs on ULN, how to create a new ULN user, more information about Oracle Linux support, uh, information about Oracle's Unbreakable Enterprise Kernel, ULN documentation, case splice. So there's some good information here. So I'm going to click Sign On. And it's going to prompt me for my username and password. So I'll provide that. Click Sign In. And it takes me to the Unbreakable Linux Network homepage. So you can see there are different tabs here. Home, Channel, Systems, Errata, CVE, CSI Administration. The homepage shows me recently registered systems. And you can see my ULN video demo machine that I just registered. There's some information about recently updated channels. More of those, if you want to see more of those. There's information about recently added channels. All of these are links you can click on. I'm going to click on my system, ULN Video Demo. The top of this window is System Details, the name, the architecture, the version of the OS. I can delete this system from ULN right here. I can edit any of this information. And in the middle of this window are the subscribe channels. So you can see that I have been automatically subscribed to the UEK Release 3 for Oracle Linux 7 x86 latest and also the latest packages for Oracle Linux 7. Down at the bottom is available errata. You can see that the errata is classified as either an enhancement, a bug fix, or security. You can view summary information for each errata on this page, the release date, the number of packages. There's a next button down here that will take you to the next screen. So you can see there's 64 rows of errata that it's available for my system. You have the option to download all available errata for this system. You can click on an advisory link I'll just click one of these. And it gives you more information about the errata. And it also gives you all the affected packages. So you can download up an individual package. If I click on one of these, it'll bring, me, bring up the option to save this file or open it with software install. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to go back 
and I'll scroll back up to subscribe channels. Under, under the subscribe channels you have the option to manage subscriptions. So I'll, I'll go ahead and click manage subscriptions. And from here you can see all the available channels for my particular version of OS and the architecture. So there's the case splice, there's MySQL, there's OFED, there's add-ons for Oracle Linux 7, there's Dtrace, etc. These are the channels that I have currently subscribed to. If I scroll all the way down you can see all the available channels. And it gives you a description of those. It gives you the number of packages. I'm going to go ahead and then subscribe to this add-on channel. So I'll click add-ons. I'll click the uh, arrow to move it over to subscribe channels and then I'll click save subscriptions. It will eventually tell me that my subscriptions are, are uh, saved. Now I'm going to click the channels tab and f this window appears and from here you can see all the channels that are available from ULN. You can see a description for each channel, number of packages. You can also view channels for a specific release and architecture. So if I select the drop down menu for releases, I'll select Oracle Linux 7, and it just displays the OL7 channels. Now, OL7 is only available for the x86 architecture, so there's there's no, no additional options under, uh, under architecture. There's links for the packages, so if I click uh, right here, package, packages, it gives me all the available packages, and there's a search feature here. Some of these packages have descriptions. It shows me 100, and I can go next to hit the next. Each one of these can be downloaded. I could, I could click on one of these and it'll, it'll display information about it as well as a download link. It'll give me uh, file list information and also what packages are required, what it provides, obsoletes, conflicts, and so forth. I click the download. It'll give me a chance to save it to, to download the file. Hit cancel. And I'm going to go back back again. We've already seen the systems tab so I'm going to click on the errata tab and this window lists all the errata that has been published. It has a search feature. You can also filter by advisory type that is just the bugs or just the enhancements or just the security errata. You can click the release drop down and view errata for a particular release of Oracle Linux and Oracle Linux in Oracle VM, so if I click the down arrow here, you'll see there's uh, Linux 3, Linux 4, 5, 6, 7, and also Oracle VM 2.1, 2.2. You can subscribe to a mailing list over here on the right side, so you can, subscribe, you can subscribe to the Enterprise Linux Errata mailing list. You can also subscribe to the Oracle VM uh, mailing list. I'll just click the uh, Enterprise Linux so it gives you some information here, prompts you for your email address, pick a password, etc. Go ahead and go back. Again, you can click the advisory column and it'll show you more information about the errata detail, all the affected packages, and so forth. We'll go back. And then the last tab we'll look at is CVE. CVE stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. It shows you all the CVs by identifier, the synopsis, the release date. You can view by year or all years as, as is the case that we're viewing here. You can click on a CVE uh, identifier to bring up additional information. All the CVE details at the top, there's metrics in the middle, and there's errata information down at the bottom. So that is really the uh, web interface. And the main reason you'd want to come in here again is to subscribe to an additional channel or unsubscribe from a channel. 
and also to download packages, individual packages, if you had the need to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and log off of this. I'm back to the uh, ULN login page. So I'll go ahead and close my browser. This concludes the second video tutorial on ULN. Proceed to the third and final video tutorial in the series, which demonstrates using the YUM utility to install available updates from ULN.